Yeah, so Tim, uh, British champion in the long jump. How do you feel? Feels great. Feels good to defend what I did last year. So, yeah. Uh, and how was the competition today? You, you and Dan like having these one centimetre battles, it seems. Yeah, it seems to be a thing now. <laughs> Hopefully next year we can get out of the one centimetre competition and, you know, I stay ahead. <laughs> but no, I mean, it was just a lot of fun. It was nice having, you know, pressure going into the last jump and then putting the pressure on him. And I mean, it helps both of us. The more pressure situations we are, the better we're going to jump in the future. Uh, and it must give you confidence now jumping so well and performing so well in an event like this. Um, and, and give you confidence at this stage in the season? Yeah, it's nice that I had one jump that was under 780. So my consistency is starting to get back up there, which is what I need. Um, the more I can jump 780, eight meters will just kind of happen in the DCAT, or, you know, I can live with 780. Um, still a good chunk of points. I'm still over 1,000 points, so that's kind of what I need. Right, and what's <clears> next for you in your immediate schedule? I have hurdles tomorrow. And then after that, go back to the States have a nice hard training block until uh, we fly over to Dubai for the holding camp. Um, and just finally, um, what's the event like here at Alexander Stadium when it's the, the last time you'll be competing in a, a major event here? Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was, it was a lot better than last year. I mean, the energy was just really, really good this year. We got lots of high, like, high volume claps going, not even just for like the top three. We got it for everyone, which I mean, it's always nice when that happens. When even like a guy in 12th place, they're still getting big claps, and it just means the crowd's watching us, kind of getting into it. Well, it was a great competition. Congratulations. Thank you.